Paramount. The Barbie movie didn't license that many clips from us, but still more than you expected. Up in the sky! Look! It's a bird! It's a plane! It's Superman! Famous Studios. It's always been famous. I've never heard of Max and Dave. A showdown? Going downtown? You're gonna mess around? And yes, we're skipping the first Famous Studio short because even the title is too racist for me. There's gonna be a couple from the Famous Era we'll skip for racism reasons. Faster than a streak of lightning. More powerful than the pounding surf. Guess the Fleischers got the speeding bullet and locomotive in the divorce. This amazing stranger from the planet Krypton, the Man of Steel. Superman! We can reuse still images from the previous era, that's all right. Superman fights a never-ending battle for truth and justice. Disguised as a mild-mannered newspaper reporter, Clark Kent. A man with a sailboat in his jacket pocket. I'm sorry, we don't have a pulse. Yes, this is definitely the real Superman, knocking a guy slightly unconscious instead of just ripping the safe apart with his bare hands. There's a run on this bank because Dick Van Dyke took a kid's tuppence. Before Jimmy got into sandwiches, he and his bro had a different dream. Meanwhile, at Edward G. Robinson's private putt-putt course... Hello, stupid. Hey! Well, hello, stupid, to you, too! Come on, come on, hand it over. It was Alfred E. Newman the whole time? Oh, for me, I didn't know you felt that way. This is a swell racket, boss. And the Superman outfit, it works like a charm. You've been moonlighting at Jumbo's clown room again. Gee, boss, it was only a fin. Next time, it'll be a Mickey fin. That's right, I'm gonna have you steal Disney dollars. So nobody noticed that it wasn't Superman's face. Why is Clark even bothering with the glasses? Superman against his fiercest enemy, Joe Friday. Oh, actually, that article's just about how Shelly refused to go to Stacy's birthday party. She said she was going to be out of town, but then they all saw her at the skating rink hanging out with Susie instead. Hey, you two. The editor wants you to cover the opera tonight. Where the hell did you come from? And don't forget... It's formal. Jimmy Olsen is really turned on by the idea of other people wearing fancy clothes at an event he won't attend. Bertie Wooster and Tuppy Glossop are asleep in the next box over. A night at the opera is less zany than I remember. An entire theater audience made up of Statlers and Waldorfs. Oh no, John Wilkes Booth! Here's Johnny? Young Queen Elizabeth? Well, she can't feel when she's using her opera glasses. Everyone knows that. Don't mind me, just checking your heartbeat. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh! I just remembered I hate this opera! Only he wears clothes this flimsy. So Lois, the person who knows Superman's physique better than anybody, is fooled by this lanky dork. My double's in for some trouble. Or whatever Team Rocket says. Okay, but they think it is Superman, so they're covering the ground to trap the guy who can fly away? Ooh, they're gonna do the duck soup mirror gag. Does this guy really not know bullets don't work on Superman? I don't think he put a lot of research into this role. Not exactly a method actor. Now wait a minute, Mr. Superman. You got me all wrong. It ain't me. Honest, it ain't me. It's I ain't no senator's son. Oh, take it easy, will you, Mr. Superman? Give me a chance. I'll come clean. I'll talk. Honest, I'll talk. Oh, don't touch me. Up in the sky. Neither of those are birds, Debbie. I knew 
Chicago was more to the story. Not much more for me to do in this story, but hey. Come on, men, let's drive in a random direction. He loves me, he loves me not. All right, kid, this is your house. I'm gonna have a word with your mother. Well, did you enjoy the opera? Well, I fell asleep, but... Oh, I mean, grrr! What's the matter, stupid? Did you lose your tongue? And gain about three feet of height? Don't stand there like a dummy. Give me the jewels. Are you trying to double-cross me? Why, you... Hey, boss, that's Mr. Superman. Sorry I didn't mention earlier that I was bringing company. I uh, didn't expect to see you here. Ah, take that. You're susceptible to gravity, right? Oh, right, I forgot. In these cartoons, he can only fly when the animators feel like it. The desk is rattling around like a TV drawn by Bill Watterson. Oh, I don't care about me, but if this lamp gets hurt, I'll never forgive myself. Hey, uh, sorry I killed your rancor. Whoa, electroshock! Give me more, I'm into it. Meanwhile, in a cartoon based on Cask of Amontillado... Hey, is Snow White's stepmother around? Superman, possessing remarkably inconsistent strength. Come on, hurry up. Let me in, da da da. All right, now I for one have been craving in and out, but if the drive through line's too long, I'm parking and sending you in for it. And they run Doctor Strange off the road. Ah, didn't turn off their blowtorch? Such a waste of power. Their hideout is a sensible suburban split level. And Cary Grant crashes into them after being drugged by James Mason. Everyone knows cars are lighter than doors. Oh, next time you play Superman. I want to be Goku next time. Get you down? Uh, just been dreaming I was Superman. Dreaming about being Superman might be even more pathetic when you actually are. Well, I can dream, can I? At Boner. Superman will return in something that allows me to reference a third Marx Brothers movie. 